Yo, I know my hair looks crazy as fuck, but I'm going to get this shit cut right now. Oh shit, your boy didn't got fresh that quick. It's crazy. Now I know my hair probably still looks crazy as hell. I gotta let it curl back down or whatever, but yo, YouTube, what's going on? YC in Virginia with another vlog. And uh, right now, I'm about to go finally get this damn oil change for my car. And then I got a couple other things to do today, man. Maybe some shopping, you know what I'm saying? Just some interesting things, hopefully for you all. So let's tackle this day, man. Let's chat real quick. Let's talk about clients. Specifically, the topic of stealing clients. Is it okay to steal clients? Yes and no. Yes, it's okay to steal clients if you don't know the director. Even that's a circumstantial thing. No, it's definitely not okay if you know the director. If you and that director are cool, it's definitely 100% not okay for you to steal a client from him. Let's go into detail on what I mean by stealing a client and in the, in the instances that it is acceptable. It's acceptable to steal a client from a director that you don't know um, if you feel like you could do that job better than that director. So like when, when I used to go out and travel, like the US, like when I would go out to like OKC and shit like that looking for clients, um, the easiest way that I would find clients was to just find the biggest director at that place and reach out to those clients and try to, you know what I'm saying, turn that business into my business. That's acceptable. I don't know this director, I'm trying to get some business going. Like, fuck him, he doesn't know me, we don't know each other. Like, fuck it, I'm gonna reach out to these people and see if I can get some business going, you know what I'm saying? No, it's not okay to steal a client from some a director you know. If I, I know a shit ton of people who work with Creative Ryan, personally, I would never reach out to them and try to steal that business from him. That's 100% unacceptable. Now, if the client decides to jump ship and, you know what I'm saying, come over to you, from a director you know. I mean, that that's just that just is what it is. You know what I'm saying? The client, they, they don't want to switch over. Hey, man, maybe you do something different that your friend doesn't do or your director friend that doesn't do. You know what I'm saying? Maybe they like your style better. I mean, that's acceptable. It is what it is. The client's going to do what they want to do. But it's never okay for you to reach out to a client that is a friend of your director's. No, I d fuck, man. What the fuck am I even saying? If they want you, you might do something different than the person you know. They might like your style better. I mean, it is what it is. You didn't steal them. They decided to come over and jump shit. Fuck it. It is what it is. But for you to go personally and reach out to the client and even undercut a director that you know, say you know they charge this amount of money and you go and say, oh, yeah, I can shoot the video for half the price or a third of the price. No, that shit's not cool. Don't do that shit unless they give you the okay to do it. Like, I have, like, a bunch of clients that I used to work with and I, uh, my, I've upped my price since then so you know what I'm saying I'll put those clients on to my maybe my homie Tino who doesn't charge as much as I do he doesn't have that much experience you know what I'm saying so that right there is 100% acceptable but still in clients is completely circumstantial and understand what's acceptable and what's unacceptable about stealing clients I don't know if that shit I was just talking about made any type of sense but be careful when you out here stealing Success at the gym. I'm downtown now with the family, about to do a little bit of shopping. I need to pick up some t-shirts because I don't have any shopping as the mission ahead. Yo, how y'all feel about Urban Outfitters? Is Urban Outfitters overpriced? Is it a good price? Do y'all like Urban Outfitters at all? Let me know in the comments, I'm interested to know. Mason, look. He got mad. He thought <laughs> he thought his mom was trying to leave me. He got upset. You okay? I wasn't leaving your dad. I promise. <laughs> yo, I'm hype as fuck, man. And it's no real reason to be hype, yo. But I said I was gonna do something, and I did it, and y'all helped me. A little over a month ago, when I dedicated myself to uploading a video every day or a vlog, whatever the hell you want to call it, I told myself by September, I would have 2,000 subs. And I know 2,000 subscribers is not shit. There's people out there with fucking 8.10, I mean 8 point fucking 5 billion fucking million, whatever the fuck. It's people out there with 
crazy ass numbers of subscribers. In 2000 is not shit, but I set a fucking milestone and I'm gonna hit it today. And that's dope, man. Like 30 days ago, it didn't seem doable because I only had like 1,500. If you think about it, that's a that's a third of the subscribers I had that I wanted to gain in 30 days. And I had had my YouTube channel for over what, probably like three years. So that's dope as fuck, man. The channel is gonna continue to grow. I know it. It's a fun experience right now. I know almost everybody who's like commenting and you know what I'm saying, the discussion and stuff like that. And it's gonna eventually get to a point where like my channel's big and that's no longer gonna be a thing. So I'm just having fun with this, man. I appreciate you all for subscribing. The content is gonna continue to come, man. And uh, I just wanna say thank you. Thank you, man. Milestones are amazing. Make goals, crush goals, make new goals, man. Always do that, always remember that. But yo, I'm gonna use this as an opportunity to close this vlog out. Uh, but before I do, make sure y'all, um, Go check out the other video on the channel. I said I was going to do the little tutorial with the Instagram previews with the borders. Everybody's been asking about that shit. So, y'all go watch that and like it. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already. But I'm going to close this vlog out. Like it. Comment. Subscribe if you haven't already as well. And um, I'm going to check you out on my next vlog tomorrow. Peace.